Hi everyone, my name is Rob Rosen and I'm the Director of Solutions Architecture for Google Cloud. The Google Cloud Architecture Framework is a set of canonical best practices to help you design, build, and operate a cloud environment that is secure, efficient, resilient, high performing, and cost effective. The framework is broken down into six different pillars, with each pillar focused on a specific topic or function critical to designing and operating your workloads. In this video, we'll provide an overview of system design pillar, the foundational pillar of the architecture framework that helps you define the architecture, components, and data you need to satisfy your business and system requirements. Before we get started, let's review some key terms. When we say deployments, we're referring to the overall system architecture supporting your business use case. Deployments can consist of multiple workloads, which are the set of applications, data, virtual machine instances, and services designed to support your business use case. Each service is independent and can include multiple components, with each component serving a specific function in order to execute the task. In order to achieve a robust system design that is secure, reliable, scalable, and independent, we recommend you follow four key principles. Document everything, simplify your design, decouple your architecture, and utilize statelessness. First, document everything. Properly documented system architectures help establish a common language and enable your cross-functional teams to collaborate effectively. By documenting design strategies and decisions in a change log, teams have the context needed to align their initiatives, avoid duplication, and measure performance changes effectively. The second principle is to simplify your design. If you're starting new, start simple and avoid the temptation to over-engineer. In most cases, we recommend you use fully managed services as this will minimize the time and effort required by your team. In cases where it's possible to reduce your system complexity, such as separating a monolithic application stack into logical isolations, you can help minimize risk accelerate upgrades, and more easily support modernization efforts. Thirdly, decouple your architecture. Decoupling is a technique used to separate your applications and service components so they can operate independently of each other. In effect, a decoupled architecture helps improve scalability, enables more granular controls and analysis, and optimizes the overall efficiency of operations. The last principle of system design is to utilize statelessness. Stateless applications that utilize shared storage or cached services can quickly scale up with minimum boot dependencies, thereby withstanding hard restarts and reducing downtime. Ultimately, by refactoring your stateful applications to be more stateless, you can improve the scalability and durability of your applications to withstand potential interruptions. These are just a few examples but you can see how the principles of system design can be expanded into various other use cases across the other five pillars of the architecture framework. The architecture framework is an integral part of the Google Cloud community, which includes content, resources, and engagement opportunities dedicated to the system design pillar. Here, you can access a series of articles with questions and recommendations to help you quickly find practical guidance and address specific challenges related to system design. There are also open discussion forums where you can ask questions and receive answers, as well as opportunities to participate in community events, such as our Ask Me Anything series. Together, the Google Cloud community and architecture framework provide an innovative, trusted, and vibrant space for you to achieve your goals along a global community of supportive peers, Googlers, and product experts. We look forward to seeing you there.